side, bend the bottom leg and straighten the top leg. And lower, not too high. You want to lift your leg about 20 inches and no more. Keep your hips in line, one on top of the other. If you take the leg too high, you end up by sinking back into the top hip. So you're not really working that outside thigh as much as you could. Pull your stomach in. Control that leg up and control it down. Now we're going to change legs. You're going to bend the top leg and you're going to straighten the bottom leg. So now we're toning up the inside thigh. You can rest your head on your hand, up and slowly down. You can do what you like with the other hand. Yeah, that's nice. And again, controlled movements. Keep the leg very straight. Pull your stomach in. We're going back to the first exercise. Bend the bottom leg, straighten the top leg. Controlled movements. Now you can keep your foot pointed or you can flex it. It's entirely up to you. The most important thing is to straighten that leg. That's one more time with the inside thigh. Straighten that bottom leg. And up. Control it up, control it down. Now turn around, we're going to do the other side. So bend the bottom leg, straighten the top leg. Make sure that both hips are in line, one on top of the other. Keep that leg straight. Don't forget your stomach. And now bend the top leg, straighten the bottom leg. Off we go. Up and slowly down. Now you're going to straighten the top leg, bend the bottom leg. We're going to tone up that outside thigh one more time. Keep your hips in line, one on top of the other. I don't want you rocking back on the top hip. Keep it in line so that you really work the outside thigh. Pull your stomach in. Control that movement up and slowly down. Okay, one last time toning the inside thigh. Keep the leg straight, keep that bottom leg straight. If you'd like to now roll over onto your back, straighten both legs up into the air. Take your legs out to the side and bring them in again, but very carefully. Small movements, not too far, or you could do yourself a mischief. Keep those legs straight and squeeze your inside thighs together. Small movements control them, especially if you're not very flexible. Be very careful with this one. And pull your stomach in so that you don't start hurting your back. Small movements. And again. Really squeeze those thighs together. Not too far, that was showing off, wasn't it? I'd advise you just to keep a small range of movement on this. Now we're going to take a stretch, good, over to one side, stretch out the sides. If you find that you're falling over, you may like to place one arm on the floor beside you. And the other side. And again, if you want to support yourself, place a hand on the mat. Let's stretch out those inside thighs. Take your legs out to the side. Don't go too far, make sure that you're comfortable. And over, and hold it there. And then I'd like you to lie down. We're going to stretch out the outside thighs. Straighten one leg and place it on the floor. Bend the knee of the other leg and roll over. Keep both shoulder blades on the floor as much as you can. You're stretching out the outside thigh to a certain extent your back as well. Be careful with this one if you have got a bad back. And the other side up and over and try and keep those shoulder blades on the floor. Hold it there. Try and relax in that stretch. Soles of feet together, well done. And again, take your knees out as far as is comfortable for you. Joan does happen to be very flexible.